Hey guys, Crewman here, and when your GPU is running really hot, I'm talking in the low 80s to maybe even high 90s, then you probably have an issue. Whether it's something as simple as just reapplying thermal paste or whether or not you may need to reapply thermal paste, thermal pads, or whether there could be something bigger. So in this video, I want to show you how to determine whether or not you just need a something simple as a, a thermal paste replacement or if it's something more complex like you need to change the thermal pads or there could be a bigger issue. So without further ado, let's get to it. So the first thing you want to do obviously is test your GPU to see if it's too hot. Now whether this is a new GPU or this is a GPU that you already own, basically you just want to put it in your computer or a test bench to see how hot it is. The one thing I need to note is when it's running in an open air frame and it's still running hot, it just means you can add an extra probably four to five Celsius when you're putting it in a case because there is no restrictions to the airflow over here. We're gonna turn this thing on and we're going to see how hot it runs when I put it through the G when I put it through the testing. And what I use to test is I use Furmark and I run it at a full load. Let me show you what it looks like right now. You can see right here that we have Firmark on and hold on real quick. You can hear the fans already ramping up. This thing just started at full load and it's at 86C and the GPU load is 100%, which means this thing is running way too hot and there's definitely a problem. I'm gonna run it for another maybe two or three minutes, which should give me enough, but you can already hear. The fans are already ramping up and basically the fans right now are looking at CPU-Z, which is where I get all of my info at. The fans are basically at close to 100% already, which is not good. So that this thing is definitely running too hot. There's nothing wrong with it, which is the nice thing, because if there's something wrong with it, it would crash right away or I would have issues. So it's most likely either a repaste or a repadding. So we're gonna wait another minute or two and you can see it's really not going above eight. Oh, it went to 88. But this is an open airframe, which means this would probably be running in the 90s in a case. Entirely too hot, and you can't have that. So without further ado, I'm gonna let this cool down. I'm gonna turn this off, let this cool down, and I'll be right back in a few minutes to, sh to open it up. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and take this apart. Taking apart GPUs is honestly not bad. Now, especially when you're dealing with an older one like this, which is an RTX 3080, that is 100% out of warranty. You can um, essentially not worry about voiding your warranty because there is none to void. So you don't have to worry about the warranty sticker. All right, you can see it's taken apart. Now, I am, I've done this a lot. These GPUs are solid, but they notoriously run hot. So this isn't the first time I've taken one of these ones apart. But now I wanna just show you if you can look, right? Now the first thing you wanna look at is the thermal compound right here is basically dust. So that means you definitely need to repaste this. As far as repadding goes, these pads actually look like they're in pretty solid shape. You can repad if you choose to, and, and some people like to. I, however, do not feel like a repadding is necessary on this GPU. These pads aren't crumbling. They look to be in pretty decent shape, in all honesty. So I don't need to repad it. I don't see anything else wrong from a technical standpoint after testing it, and I don't see any damage on here. Now, you obviously want to examine it. So all it looks like it needs is a good repasting. So we're gonna go ahead and get my IPA ready to go. And we're gonna pour it on a paper towel. I like to use 93%, but honestly, anything over 90 is fine and it doesn't matter if you use something that's bigger. So we're gonna go ahead and just wipe it down. And here's the thing, some people are perfectionist and some people aren't. I tend to be a realist and like, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Like it, it really doesn't. I mean. Some people like to be perfect, but like as long as you get all of the, the thermal paste off the die, like if you get any on the side of the die, I've seen that before, it doesn't affect performance. You just need to clean it off. Like oh, you wanna get all of it off here and there's just a little bit left. So I'm just gonna push a little harder and you don't have to worry about cracking it or anything because it's pretty durable and I'm not saying be reckless, but and like don't put a knife by it or anything, but paper towel should be just fine. I'm just gonna dry it off. And 
you want to clean the top or the other the old rust uh, the old leftover paste is as well and then what else, whether you want to do anything else is totally up to you like you can get rid of this dust like it's never gonna hurt to get rid of it like if you want to wipe down this grime does it matter some people say it does I have never seen it matter your goal with this whole job is basically to get this GPU to say 70 to 75 you get it in the mid 70s and you're golden this thing will last forever in the mid 70s some people are, are paranoid about temperatures that has a lot to do with your case your airflow in your case like my 39 my 5090 and my 5090 PC build runs at a incredibly cool you know 65 degrees with the fans on at like 30 percent some people now obviously that means i could get it to like the 50s if i crank the fans up but i don't care enough and i like my quiet because the data shows that 70 75 is perfectly acceptable operating range for these gpus all right so that's done it's cleaned up now let's get to the thermal paste i like to use arctic I'll have a link down below. I'm not sponsored, but I like to use Arctic MX4 thermal compound. Just like, look at it just as re, or putting it on a GPU or a CPU. Oh, dot. You don't even need that much, but I just overdid it. And you're golden. And then all you got to do is you flip this back over and you make sure that it lines up with the four holes like that. And you're good. Be right back once it's put together and in my PC. All right, first thing I want you to notice is the GPU's reassembled and back on the bench, and listen. It's really not that loud. Now I'm gonna move the camera back up here, and let's zoom in. I've had this on, and we are at, we're at 62C with a hotspot of 74C. So we basically dropped 20 Celsius. Now I didn't think we dropped that much. I thought we'd hit mid 70s. But that means that it was entirely the thermal paste and the pads are 100% fine. Which means that besides the five minutes of labor that took me, now to be fair, I've also reassembled, uh, taken apart and put together probably two, 300 GPUs in my lifetime. So I can do it really fast. The thermal compound from Arctic costs $7 on Amazon and I'll have a link down below. So you can see that it was cheap. It is an incredibly cheap and effective way to breathe new life into your GPU. And frankly, if you're buying used GPUs, like this GPU was not originally mine, you can go through that and do it in a second. So hot GPU doesn't necessarily mean a problem if you know how to fix it. And this video basically shows you how to fix it. And even if you needed thermal pads, that's an extra maybe $15. So really fixing a GPU running too hot will only cost you a few bucks if you watch this video. So thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. Peace out.